how to use Creatio CRM. Hello and welcome to our channel. On this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Creatio CRM. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. And to create an account on Creatio, you could also use my affiliate link below the description where I earn a small commission at no additional cost to you. And by using the link, you may also get some discount or rewards upon sign up. But before that, if you don't know what is Creatio, it is a comprehensive no-code platform that automates workflows and CRM with a maximum degree of freedom. It offers key components like Marketing Creatio for automating marketing's campaign and lead management workflows. Sales Creatio for automating sales processes and service Creatio for automating customer service workflows. And now to start using Creatio platform, just proceed by clicking the Try It Free button on the top right corner in which upon clicking on it, you will be able to be directed on this page right here. And from here, just click this right free under CRM Create Show. And upon clicking on it, you will be directed on the next tab. And now to create an account on Create Show, you could also enter your business email and password in here. Or alternatively, you can sign up using LinkedIn, Google, and even Facebook account. And in those options given below here, I'm going to choose to sign up using my Google account. And after choosing your Google account or signing in, you will be directed on the next page in here. And from here, just enter your company name, country, and even enter your phone number on this page. And upon filling out all of the required information, just proceed by clicking the sign up button below here to proceed. And after that, all you need to do is wait for it to load, then you will be able to be directed on this home page. And from here, you will see on the left side panel some of the options that you can start navigating such as home, contacts, calendar, tasks, accounts, cases, services, and many more. And in this dashboard, it will show you other overview about the total opportunity count and other data in here. And aside from that, on the left side panel, by clicking this service right here, it will show you other options that you can start navigating via your all apps, CRM, sales, service, marketing, lead generation, and many more. And now to start navigating on the left side panel, we can also navigate the contacts aside from home. By simply clicking on it, from here, it will serve as a purpose of managing communication options and addresses for contacts and accounts within this platform. And from here, it will show you all the details including the full name, type, account, mobile phone, email of your contacts. And to add new contact, just click this plus new button on the top panel. And from here, it will show you a pop-up window. And all you need to do is to simply enter the type of contact, the contact name, select an account, full job title, mobile phone, and even enter their email address. Or alternatively, you could also import the contacts by clicking this import button right here. You could also import from Excel and web format and pages. So basically, this feature allows users to customize communication options by creating custom communication types and binding them into specific communication options. And aside from contacts, we could also navigate the calendar in here by clicking on it, in which this serves the purpose of managing and visualizing records of our subjects such as activities, opportunities, and cases in a calendar view. And to add new record on your calendar, just click this plus new button right here. And in this pop-up window, it will show you that all you need to do is to fill out all of the required information such as the subject, start date, due date, the category, status, and even the owner. In which this feature allows users to display records of a set of tiles on a calendar providing a clear overview of upcoming events, deadlines, and scheduled activities. Clicking these three dots right here, we could also export the data to Excel, data import, change the calendar timescale, and many more. Now moving on by clicking this task on the left side panel, from here it will show us the list of tasks that we have, we have here the subject, category, owner, and any other details of the task. This serves the purpose of managing and tracking various activities and to do items related to customer interactions and business processes. And by clicking this plus new button on the top right corner, we will be able to start adding a new record or task in here by simply filling out all of the record information right here. And aside from that, on the left side panel, we can also navigate these accounts by clicking on it in which this serves as the purpose of managing and maintaining comprehensive profile for various companies and organizations that the business interacts with, such as customers, partner, contractors, and suppliers. And by clicking this plus new button on the top panel, we will be able to start recording or adding new accounts by simply filling out all of the required information in here including the name, type, industry, primary contact, enter web, and even the primary phone number. So just fill out all of the required information and just click the save button to proceed. Now going back on this page right here, you could also navigate the cases by simply clicking on it. This option will serve as the purpose of managing and tracking customer inquiries, incidents, service requests, and other type of customer-facing issues. This feature allows users to create, assign, and monitor cases throughout the life cycle, from initial registration to final resolution. And that is why on this list, it will show you different kind of status in here. Clicking this plus new button, 
it will show you in here that you can start adding from creating your own new cases by simply filling out all the record information such as this general performance and closure and feedback. So you can just fill out all of the record information and just click the save button on the top panel to proceed. And now moving on, on the left side panel, we could also navigate these services by simply clicking on it, in which this serves the purpose of managing and tracking the various services and products that a business offers to its customers. And this feature allows users to create and maintain detailed profiles for each service including its description, pricing, and associated resources. And by clicking this plus new button on the top panel, you could also start adding new services that you prefer by simply filling out all of the required information. Now moving on on the left side panel, we could also navigate service agreements, which manage in defining the service parameters for customer and partners. And also in this knowledge base right here, by simply clicking on this knowledge base, which provides centralized repository of information and resources to all users and customers find answer to their question and resolve issues more efficiently. If there are different kind of articles, type, last updated, and even the author of those articles. And aside from that, you could also navigate on the left side panel the queues, key settings, landing pages, and web forms, and even this feed option in which it serves the purpose of providing a centralized communication hub where users can post updates, share information, and collaborate on various records and processes. And aside from that, you could also navigate the chat here by simply clicking on chat which from here it will enable real-time communication between customers and agents through various channels such as Facebook Messenger and Telegram to facilitate efficient customer service and support. And aside from this option on the left side panel, you could also navigate some of the options on the top panel we have here feed reminders such as serve as also a notification in here, a help if you have already have inquiries, a settings option, and even your account or your profile settings by clicking on it, and which it will enable you to edit some of your info in here. And now to create new activity, just click this plus button on the top left corner. And by clicking on it, it will show us a variety of options. Just click the activity and click email. In which upon clicking on it, it will show us right here that we can start adding a new email, filling out all of the required information such as this from or your email address in here as a sender and to as a recipient, the subject here and even the message below here. Then you can simply click the send button below here to proceed. And now aside from email, if you want to add a lead, just click this plus button and click the lead in which upon clicking on it, it will show us on this pop-up window that all you need to do is to enter the customer needs, contacts, account, lead type, comments, or basically just fill out all of the required information under this new record. And after filling out all of the required information, just click the save button below here to proceed. So basically, using Croatia, a low-code platform that process management and CRM is crucial for businesses looking to gain a competitive advantage in today's rapidly changing market landscape. But overall, that is just basically how you can use Croatia CRM. Thank you.